going on guys for tonight's test we are taking a sterno oven small little survival oven folds up real nice uses these small little sterno heating camping canisters that uh, run on some purple slime let me see if I can get the lid oh, that stuff and it just burns it's probably soaked it with some kerosene of some sorts, or just a fluid, fluid of any sorts. And um, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm melting a thing of snow in the smaller pot that he also got me. I got this bigger one, but I kind of got it dirty and I forgot to wash it, so I need to get into doing that. Which I guess I will have some water here, won't I? But um, I cooked some tuna with this fire. Um, one night to test it out, and the water bubbled, but I don't know if it actually was boiling, you know. It was sizzling, like that, you know, and obviously, you know, the pot's hot, and it's, you know, cold, or and it's got water on it, so it's going to sizzle, but today's, or uh, tonight's prognosis to figure out here is if this little oven here that my great friend got for me can boil water or if it will fail join me in a little bit to figure out the c what happens well we're getting there you can see by obviously right here it's steaming it's feeling pretty warm the water's getting there it's not uh, I don't know some of the water feels pretty kind of warm some of it Obviously, the deeper you get down here, it's kind of thicker because it's sitting on an angle. I tried to level it out as best as possible, but here's a little bit chillier. You know, this water's pretty hot. You can see the air, the bubbles there and building up around the bottom here. So, it's getting there. I'm not positive it's going to get there all the way, though. I mean, that's pretty thick, you know, and it, I don't know, it just seems like it's going to, going to be not hot enough to uh, boil water, which kind of sucks, but, you know, this is why we're doing this, to figure this out, so catch up with you here shortly, hopefully uh, we figure out what's going on, so to hopefully speed up the process, slash just use my brain a little bit, I thought to myself, yeah, probably actually should have uh, something to put over top, just because obviously, <clears throat> You know, containing the heat inside an enclosure is going to make the heat inside the water warm up a lot faster than it will, obviously, just having it completely open. Well, it didn't really have anything laying around that really matched a top, but that other pan that I had that was dirty. So, I guess not only is it steaming off the tuna from a couple of days ago when I cooked with it, it's... uh. It's now creating a nice, you know, lid, and I cracked it just so it's got a little bit of a vent, you know, all the steam will come out there, and, uh, now we'll see here shortly if, uh, if it actually pays off. Well, it, uh, it definitely boiled, well, I don't know if you'd consider it exactly boiling, it was close, very close to boil, I should say, but, uh, and, uh, Problem being, though, is the water was super, super thin. So I turned the pan, so if you see all these bubbles are right here and that nasty piece of tuna fell off the top of the pot. Um, this is actually where it was happening, up here, because it was super thin. So what I did is I turned it down there, so it was obviously the hottest side. And obviously then all the, the larger amount of water was on that side and I slid the whole thing over so now it's directly above the heat um it really hasn't been that long uh but just the way it's acting I can pretty much say right now that I'm gonna have to go with my friend and say that I don't really think this guy's gonna be able to boil water and uh sucks but you know what we live and learn, and the stove itself is still pretty sweet. 
which I will be showing in another video for people who want to see what this little guy is like. He is sweet as shit. He it is it's not very tall either. If you uh use this as comparison right now, it's about, you know, half of my hand or you know, three quarters of my hand up to the top of this, you know, where it's burning. So I mean this is not a big oven at all, but it would easily cook, you know. Let me uh let me grab this pot real quick or this pan of water. Pick it up. That's what you get. You know, it's you know, it's got racks. You set pans, pots on it. That's the thing, burning with the purple goo. I mean, like, it's mint. It's one of those things, apparently, is supposed to burn for five hours. And, uh, we got two of them, so that's ten hours right there. Now, obviously, you know, if, if you were prepared and you had that with you in a survival situation, you know, that'd be extremely helpful and probably very unlikely unless you were extremely prepared. And... Um, but even if that, if, uh, you know, you have a survival kit, you could definitely pack that oven inside of it and have it, you know, handy and ready at all times for whatever meal that you need to prepare. So, uh, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting a lot more videos out like these. Um, showing you all kinds of helpful tips I know about survival. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to leave this guy going for the rest of the night. I'm going to wait to post this video until I go to bed anyways. So, if he decides that it's going to boil before the end of the night with the thicker water in it, then I'll definitely have to, you know... Add an ending to this video to recap the fact that uh, the water boils or, you know, whatever. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully you catch us next time where I will be showing some other cool fire-involved items that I have for survival. So until next time, I'll see you later, guys.